In this tutorial, we're going to cover the Pathfinder tool, which is located under Window, Pathfinder, and bring that out, and we will start using that in a moment. I'm going to try to quickly create a tank top out of this t-shirt, and it's going to have sort of a great little shape, but what I'm doing, first of all, is I am creating the perimeter shape for most part. Now, I've already got this thing in mind so I understand what it is that I'm looking to do. So I'm going to reflect this. I'm going to make a copy of it and hold down shift and move this copy over. Now I am going to join the two together. I'm not going to go over all of this because we've done it in other tutorials and in class. But I'm going to quickly get this done. And the idea behind the Pathfinder tool is that you can create one large closed space, such as the perimeter of this t-shirt, and then you can divide it up into smaller closed objects that you can then color separately. So here I'm going to make a nice little v-neck to this shirt, like so. So now I have a completely closed object. So I am going to now start dividing it into smaller closed objects. I'm going to add the trim interiorly to this, and then I'm going to divide the bodice into a couple of parts. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, and first I'm going to start by doing one, and then I'll show you that you can do all of them at once. So I'm going to click here, hold down shift and click here, thus getting a nice straight line across there. And then I'm going to pull to make it curved. And yes, you actually cut across the lines that you want to cut across. When I click using my selection tool, click that line, and then you must click, holding down shift, the line that it's intersecting. And then in the Pathfinder tool, under Pathfinder, the very first icon is one that's called divide. And if you click that, you'll notice the little tails that I made went away. And if I use my direct selection tool, you can click and you can see that it's all one closed object now, and so is that. So isn't that amazing? If you've copied and pasted and joined and you know how hard it is to make each one of your objects closed sometimes, um, this is so much easier. So now I'm going to grab my pen tool and I am going to start creating all of the rest of my trim pieces. Remember, I created my t my shirt with the exterior shape being the perimeter, and the only area I'm going to actually add trim to is this V on the neckline. Because I want it to be one solid piece and I don't want it to have a bunch of lines in it. So there we have it. I have trim at the, the armhole, the neckline, and the other armhole. So I'm going to choose all of these with my selection tool. And remember, I have to also choose the line that all of those lines are intersecting. So ultimately, I'm choosing everything here. And then when I click the first icon under Pathfinders, all of the little tagged lines go away. And now I can choose that trim, and it's a closed shape, meaning I can color it different colors. They're all closed shape by using the Pathfinder tool. I'm going to add one more across the bottom of this. Hold down Shift to get a nice straight line, then drag that line out until you like it. And then I'm going to use my selection tool, click it, and also choose the line that it's going through, and then divide it. And now you see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven completely different shapes. And now I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to quickly make a little V trim for this guy. And then I'm going to reflect that. By making a copy and drag that into position, clean it up a little bit, 
And there we have it. So now I'm also going to create, within, using the rectangle tool, a piece of back trim, like so. Using my direct selection tool, I'm going to drag these points into place. And I'm going to add a couple points at the center back neck. Choose both of them using my arrow tool, bring my trim down. Choose my convert point tool. Get a nice t curve to them. And I'm going to clean up this shape a little bit like so. Now, notice I have a back trim piece, but I really have no back. So if I try to color this space back here, it's not going to color. So what I have to do is using my direct selection tool, I'm going to make a copy of the bottom of that trim piece, which is click on it with the direct selection tool, Command C, Command F, which gives me a copy of that. And remember, I'm going to use my pen tool, and I'm going to tag on to that path and complete it around. I'm just going to draw a little dummy panel that sits behind this garment. I'm going to choose it and shift, choose my back neckline, and I'm going to arrange, send to back. It doesn't look like we've done anything until we actually color it, but now we'll color it and we'll take a look and see what we've done. So what I want to do first is I want to group this object. So I'm going to choose everything using my selection tool, group, and then I'm going to click on it double click which brings me into isolation mode and then I'm going to use my direct selection tool to select each individual part. So I'm going to choose that, hold down shift, choose that, I'm going to choose all of the trim pieces and I'm going to color those I guess green because that's what it opened out to. Then I'm going to choose this piece color it, I'm going to choose a different color, we'll go blue for this one, then I'm going to choose this center panel and we'll go yellow for that one and then I'm going to choose this bottom panel I'm going to pick I and choose that blue again and then I'm also going to go, go in here and find that back dummy panel I'm going to pick I and I'm going to color it that back the back the front color so there you have it using the Pathfinder tool to create closed shapes without having to copy and paste to front several times. I hope that helped.